Hi, this is Rat and Cat, where we search for those who have gone missing so others can learn how to survive. I'm Nakia. Today I'm here with Evergreen Search Dogs, and they are a separate unit that searches for, uh, there's different uh, aspects of a search and rescue team that they're involved in, and they search for bodies or just people who have gone missing or articles of clothing uh, or evidence. And these are all volunteers, uh, uh, people who put a lot of time into to what they do. And so I just thought I'd explore a little bit more, talk with some of them, and uh, see what it's all about. Well, I'm Don Grady. I'm president of Wind River Search and Rescue. We're currently at, uh, I think, 12 members out in Skamania County. And I recently started working with Evergreen Search Dogs um, with Lexi. And I'm not sure. I'm thinking that there are probably about 12 members also here. Um, and then 12, 13 dogs at different stages of progression. Um, new ones and old ones and uh, lots of tracking dogs in the group, so I'm um, watching HRD dogs work here, um, but yeah, I just joined with Evergreen Search Dogs, so I'm really enjoying it right now, and it's quite the process to go through. I like finding the clues, I like watching the dogs work, um, and seeing their reaction to new situations, um, I like the puzzle, I really like the puzzle, it's, it's kind of become part of my being and that's why I do it. I really like the helping people. Uh, I'm very motivated for the process and uh, uh, to doing the job. Uh, finding the people is just an extra benefit. Check it out. Check it out. So what's the exercise today? Uh, Lexi's up to short problems. So we'll be putting somebody in the woods uh, in a small area and then turn her loose. Uh, and we'll, we'll be working Lexi to find that person. Uh, usually maybe right now she's about a half a mile square. Mm -hmm. And we'll go through the area and find her, find her, find them. And uh, then we'll celebrate after she's found her. We'll celebrate and uh, play a little bit, and then we'll probably do, you know, four or five runaways um, just to keep her motivated. And then uh, after that, we'll probably do some HRD stuff, and that'll be it. I'll be spending my day hiding for dogs all over the place and doing runaways and you know, other people's dogs. That's Part of the problem with doing canine search is that you need a lot of people. You need people to hide from you. You need support when you go out because the handler needs to be able to concentrate on their dog and their dog's behavior and what their dog's doing. So they're pay not paying as close to attention to uh, safety hazards and direction and navigation and things like that. So you always want to have at least one person with you. So two of them were double blind. Those are the first two that he found, which was awesome. And then the other three, the person who hid them was with us and knew where they were. So that was only blind because I didn't know where they were. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy, Zeus. Yeah. Good boy. We have sunshine for you today. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> we can take your GPS color off now. Yeah, because I know just where you are. Good job off leash, though. Good. Oh, proud of you. Good boy. Want to sit down? Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You go for a hike there today, huh? Yeah. Do you go in the creek? Do you go in the creek? Oh, your eyes. You know when you start something and it consumes your life, time kind of goes by at <laughs> a different rate of speed, but um, I see I found paperwork back to uh, 1999, so 
so I was going through stuff and found uh, Oregon certificate from 1999 the other day so we'll go with that somewhere in 99 yeah. I was with uh, another group out of Oregon and uh, worked with them for five six years I think like I said time is time is not my strong suit um, and then uh, lost the the dog died and so I was without a dog for quite a while it takes a while to get over losing your dog and then uh, recently got Lexi and uh, started again and it's great I love working with the dogs it's a lot of fun uh, Lexi I've had for one year and one month almost to the day she's a uh, little over two years old it takes a long time to, to train the dog to uh, be able to be mission ready and to get certified so uh, sh she's doing well though I suspect that by next summer she'll probably be doing her first missions Uh, my name is Dean Counts. I'm with Evergreen Search Dogs. Uh, today we're testing Cedar, who is a bloodhound, uh, about three years old, I believe, uh, for its first level of certification, level four, that'll allow it to actually go on a mission and search for someone. Okay. So, are you guys taking any? Uh, is there any special precautions or anything that you're doing? Or? Just to make sure there's no interference, uh, anyone in the area or anything like that that could uh, hinder the dog search. Okay. And um, I think that's a what? Oh yeah, what does it have to do? Um, what it has to do at level four is it has to find someone within 30 minutes on a three-quarter of a mile track that's got at least four and up to nine turns um, and one cross track. And what is it? Actually, what do you actually physically out, have out there for the search? Um, we have a person that's been hiding for at least one hour. The first thing is the obedience training, and that's super important. I mean, you can't bring a dog out here and not have it return to you. So, uh, returning to the come command, uh, sit, stay, down. Uh, I don't particularly like heel. That's, I don't particularly like heel because I want my dog to roam. She needs to cover the ground for me because uh, that's what they do best. And so I don't usually use a heel command or uh, keep her close to me. I want her to roam pretty far. But obedience is the most important thing to begin with. So that's why I didn't start for about a year as I wanted her obedience to be you know, 99% before I start training her on other things. And uh, then uh, basically you start with runaway problems. She's doing air scent. Um, there's two, two disciplines for finding somebody in the woods. One is a tracking dog and the other one is an air scent dog. Um, a tracking dog, you give them a scent article and of that person and they will track their, their path <clears throat> to find them. And an air scent dog, you basically turn them loose downwind and tell them to find and they'll find uh, any human in that area. So, um, a good dog covers a lot of ground very quickly, a lot faster than I can. So, that's, she's training for air scent, and so far you, we've started with runaways, and you get them all hyped up in the personal runaway, and you start small, 10, 15 feet, and you do that for about 20 minutes each time. So, 20 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet. Then you uh, increasingly make them longer, make them longer, make them harder, uh, work out a wind, have the person run downwind so they really have to use their nose to find them, work the dog around so that they're really using their nose, not line of sight. Uh, then you need to teach the dog to find that person and come back to you, let you know they found that person. And then they have to, the next step is an alert. So they need to do something once they come back to you to say, hey, I found somebody and I need you to, to uh, come check it out, basically. So um, 
it's starting over again, I found out that you should teach your alert at the very beginning as a separate process. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a separate process. Maybe back with obedience stuff, you know, whatever you want the alert is. My old dog, Jewel, had a jump alert, uh, which is, there's no doubt that she's found somebody, but in the wrong circumstances, it can hurt pretty bad, you know? <laughs> Uh, if you're on a hill and she's coming downhill at you and jumps on you, it's pretty easy to take a tumble. Uh, but you definitely know she's found somebody. Uh, jump alert, I've had her bounce off my chest and just head back to somebody. So you definitely know that she's got them. Lexi, I'm using a... a, a she, so I wear a Kong when I'm out. And she'll come back to me and she'll grab the Kong and pull on it. And then I know she's found somebody and I have her take me back to that person. So they have to find them, they have to come back and find you, they have to let you know that, you, that they've found somebody, and then they have to find them all over again and take you to them. So it takes a long time to train that. This is Kaiser, and he is a certified search dog looking for. And he's a scent dog, is that right? Human remains detection. Human remains and detection. Ericsson, he does both. Oh, he does both? Yes. Yeah. Live and dead. Live and dead. And so now he's on the scent of a sample, which is placenta, is that right? It's either placenta or blood. Or blood. Is what we've got tossed out here, yeah. So Kaiser lays down at the source whenever he finds something. Correct. This is part of the reward, right? <laughs> We're all done. Yep. Been rescued. 
Everything you do is very uh, one step. You're teaching one simple thing each time and then building on that until the dogs have the skills to to do what they need to do, basically. And a lot of it is teaching. The dogs do really well. It's the handlers that need to be trained. And I'm no different than that. I'm, <clears throat> dogs pick up on body cues really well, amazingly well. So you can be cueing your dog to cueing your dog and the dog's picking up on your cue, not the person that's hiding or the person that's out there. So it's really important to work on uh, not giving your dog cues or at least know when you are giving her cues, when she's picking up on you and not what's out there. What would be a cue? <clears throat> My famous one that I'm breaking is, you know, well, did you find anything? You know, it's kind of a natural thing for me to do. It's like, well, you got something? And she cues off that she is supposed to have found something. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, but that's always interesting. And usually, you know, I'm, I've only been back into it for like two months and I'm really enjoying it. Um, the basics are the same. There's new changes, new, lots of new things and everybody has a little bit different way of training their dog. So it's always interesting. Trying to find what works best for you and, and what the dog responds to well. How did you choose Lexi? Can you choose any dog? I am an Aussie fan. <clears throat> um, Border Collies and Aussies are my, that's just my dog. They're real high energy. Uh, they do a lot of work for you. <laughs> you don't have to, you know, you don't have to cover as much ground. And I like their personalities. Um, the Aussies have been, I, will, I almost call, I would think of them as almost emo. They're, uh, they're very emotional dogs, high driven, high play drive. Um, but if I'm upset with Lexi, she's, doing something wrong, I don't have to yell or scream, all I have to do is look disappointed and she tucks what tail she has under her legs, but you know, it's just, uh, yeah, I'm an Australian Shepherd guy, so that's how, so I was looking for an Australian Shepherd and then you're looking for a dog with a high play drive, um, annoyingly high play drive, like the dog that won't leave you alone, that's always bringing you the ball, that's always bringing you wants to play, wants to tug, because that's the person, or person, that's the dog that's going to work the best for you. you know, they're high driven, they want to please you, they want to play, all the things you need to, uh, for doing canine search. So Lexi did really well today. Uh, they had five um, sent articles out there and she found three of those of course she blew by two of them um, but we're working on her alert and she did really well with her alert she's starting to do the idea to find it and then uh, go flat or lie down um, so it was positive it was very positive um, she found all five eventually uh, two of them again <laughs> had to help her in there a little bit but uh, no, she did real well she's getting the hang of it and uh, She'll, she'll do real, real well. Uh, that was HRD training. Uh, she's a little bit more excited to find people. So, uh, yeah, it was a good, so far it's a great day. You can search your county for the search and rescue in your county. Um, all search and rescues are done through the sheriff's office. So there's usually a link on, uh, like, Clark County Sheriff's Office, Skamania County Sheriff's Office. There's always a link to the search and rescue for your local county. Um, but do some research and uh, um, you can donate through, see ours is Wind River, windriversar.org. Um, I do not remember Evergreen Search Dogs. If you do a search, their, their website will come up and uh, meet people and talk to them about what they do and, and how it becomes your lifestyle. And um, it's a lot of fun.